Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the Samsung keyboard showing erratic words, misspelled text prediction or wrong autocorrection on the Samsung Galaxy S21 or the S20 series. So first tap on the home button to go back to your home screen. In here, you want to swipe down at the top and tap on settings. In settings, go down and tap on general management then tap on Samsung keyboard settings. Next, go down and tap on reset to default settings. Then here you have two options. Tap on erase personalized predictions. Then tap on erased. Okay, so give that a try. If it still does not work, you can go back in here and tap on reset keyboard settings. Then tap on reset and that will reset all the keyboard settings. So I'll give that a try, see how you go. Now, if that still does not work, perhaps maybe you can try to uh, restart your device or you can wipe the cache partition to restart the device. Uh, open up your uh, status panel or your notification panel and then tap on the power button. Then tap on restart or you can tap on power off to turn off the device. Now, once the device is switched off, in here you can also go into recovery, Android recovery menu to wipe the cache partition. Now to do that, you need to connect to a headset or a headphone, or you need to connect to a USB computer, um, to connect the USB uh, cable to the computer and your phone. Okay, once you, are, uh, once you have uh, turned off the device, you can press on the side button and the volume up key. So press and hold on both buttons at the same time. Press and hold until you see the Samsung logo and let go. Uh, after a few seconds, your phone will boot into the Android recovery menu. In here, you want to press on the volume down button to navigate to wipe cache partition. Then press on the side button to select. Then press on the volume down button to choose yes. Then press on the side button or the power button to select yes. It will now cache wipe complete. It will show cache wipe complete. And in here you can press on the power button or the side button to reboot the system now. Okay, so press on it to reboot the system now. And uh, once your phone boot up, try to uh, use the keyboard again and see if that shows any improvement. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.